How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about LeVar Ball yet again. Your favorite helicopter dad is back in the news. Well, he's never really left the news. It's just another news story, a fresh one. Now, this is because of the whole situation surrounding LeAngelo Ball. Now, I did a video about that. If you don't remember, I'll give you a brief refresher. LeAngelo Ball is middle child out of the Ball brothers. Lonzo Ball is currently in the NBA right now. He's playing for the LA Lakers. He's having an up and down season. Some are trying to call him a bust. I think a lot of that bust talk is because of his father being so overbearing, getting a lot of attention. Been in the news for a while since that whole, I'm better than Jordan. I could beat him one-on-one. -on -one. His real loud and boisterous behavior has gotten him a lot of attention. And his style about being like a helicopter dad is having a negative impact on his sons. Everybody want to go at LiAngelo, LaMelo because of his dad. LiAngelo is middle son. He got caught up in the whole thing over in China, some shoplifting and stuff. Uh, they were threatening him with three to 10 years in prison over there. But luckily, Trump was over there and was able to talk to Xi Jinping, who was the president of China directly while they were meeting and say, hey, you got these three boys over here. You had uh, Cody Riley, LiAngelo Ball, and I forget the other boy's name, but I'll put their pictures on the screen before you. He's saying, hey, you got them over here. I need you to go ahead and release them. And then about a week later, they were released. Now, some say that maybe Trump didn't really do anything. They were going to do that anyway. It's customary to release Americans after they get charged with shoplifting after a week. But who knows? At the end of the day, Trump did intervene and nobody denies that. Not only did Trump intervene, you also had the NCAA, UCLA, which is a school that LiAngelo Ball goes to. All of them collaborated to get all three other boys home. After they came home, of course, it gets suspended by, I think, the NCAA and or UCLA. NCAA being a larger organization of college basketball and UCLA being a school. And it's for an indefinite amount of time. So they don't really know how long it's going to be. It could be two months. It could be the entire season. But you got to do that. I mean, come on. If you go overseas and cause an incident, it's where the president's got to get involved for shoplifting. And you face a three to 10 years. Come on. You got to get suspended. LeVar Ball, who was a father, has come out and said that, oh, their suspension from college basketball is worse than being locked up in China, which is just ridiculous. But that's what he said. He's saying, oh, well, it wasn't really that big of a deal. Don't crush a young man's spirit. All this, that, and the third. He learned his lesson. So as a result of the suspension, he has pulled LiAngelo Ball out of UCLA. Now, his youngest son, who was currently in high school, LaMelo Ball, he's been pulled out of high school. I'm going to say that one more time. His youngest son, LaMelo, has been pulled out of high school, period. Not just high school sports, but high school. The plan was they were going to homeschool him. And the reason why they pulled him out was because of a dispute with the coach. <laughs> I mean, stupid stuff. So rather than facing responsibility for your actions, rather than being disciplined appropriately, you just want to take him away and do whatever you want to do, right? Now, the plan for both LaMelo and LiAngelo is to send them overseas so they can play basketball there. Maybe go to Europe. <laughs> Hope they don't go back to China because and that might not be too good because, I mean, you already got one get out of jail free card. They probably won't give them another one. If you so much as, I mean, any infraction over in China, it might be a wrap for you. You might be uh, in the South China Sea uh, 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 fishing on a boat chained to the actual anchor. You know what I'm saying? So, they may not want to go over there, but they probably go to Europe or something like that. And in reality, I don't think LiAngelo Ball will be drafted to the NBA anyway. LaVar said that he's going to try to get LiAngelo in the 2018 draft, but he won't be drafted because he's not even that good to play college ball, really. He's not a terrible player, but he's not that good to go to the NBA. I mean, you're talking about the best of the best that's in the league right now. Lonzo Ball is much better than his brother, and people are calling him a bust. So do you think that LiAngelo Ball will be able to go? And LaMelo, who is in high school, has not really been, you know, bandied about as a true NBA prospect or a college prospect. So they probably go overseas anyway. And I think the plan is to try maybe even to get him to China, even though that would be a bad idea to get the big baller brand sold in China, which is really the whole point here. LeVar Ball has the big baller brand, 
accessories, clothing, shoes, and I'll place a picture of the website with some of the products on the screen before you so you're able to see. They got some of the shoes going for five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. They got flip flops for like two hundred bucks, t shirts for like fifty bucks, very expensive stuff. It is selling. He's probably made a million dollars off of the website. Now, as far as that's concerned, as far as an entrepreneurial spirit, I like what LeVar Ball is trying to do with his sons. Rather than having his sons be linked to the big corporate giants, your Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Under Armour, etc., he's creating his own brand for his sons that they'll be able to have for their entire career and thereafter. However, I don't like the way he's going about it. I know about marketing. I know about branding. That's part of what I do in my walking everyday life. But I don't think that exploiting your children this way is the way to go about it. Okay. It's a certain way you can go about doing things that's good and it's a way that's bad. What he's doing right now is bad, although he has good intentions, in my humble opinion. So I like what he's trying to do, but he could do it better. It's not good to take a child out of high school because of a dispute with a coach. It's not good to take a child out of college because they got suspended due to what they did overseas when they could have been locked up overseas. What would you do then? What you going to do? Go to China, talk to Xi Jinping and be like, well, I'm pulling my son out of jail. It don't work like that. And then you're creating a big target on their back once they get into overseas ball, pro ball, college ball or whatever. Everybody's going to go at them because of how much attention you get away from the sport, how much your dad is like your cheerleader. You know, you're going to get teased and really bullied for that. OK, so that's not a good way to have your kids be presented to the world, although you do have good intentions of being able to build a legacy brand for them. So it's really a weird situation. Uh like I said, they won't go to the NBA. At least LiAngelo won't go to the NBA anyway. So this may be the plan for the entire time. But, you know, I've heard this said. I think I did a video about this um, in a Denzel Washington video I did. And I'll link to that in the box below as well. You had David Webb having a debate with Richard Fowler. Now, of course, David Webb is more of the conservative and Fowler's more of the liberal. Webb was talking about LaVar Ball. He was like, look. The father is teaching the children that it's not really a big deal to shoplift if it's small, if it's a little thing, but it grows from there. OK, you're not nipping the negative behavior in the bud. Once you see something happening, you see some shoplift and you see some, you know, some assault, some vandalism. Stop it right there. Don't just excuse it as small behavior. It doesn't matter how small or big it is. The point is, once you start to see negative antisocial behavior nip it right there in the bud so it does not become a problem in the future right a lot of the guys that you will see in the penitentiary start off doing little small stuff stealing five bucks from their mom's purse when they're not looking stealing a candy bar or something like that but the behavior never gets checked so then what do they do they go on into years down the line from that initial infraction that did not get checked and it just progresses now the next thing they're going to do is rob a gun store. You see what I'm saying? It's a continuous progression because it never gets stopped in the beginning. So I like the fact that he's trying to help his children have some money for themselves, a brand for themselves, if that money is going to them, which it should be. However, I don't like the way that he is teaching his children how to behave because that's going to affect them negatively in the future. You got to teach your children to use their brain, to think wisely, to make intelligent decisions because a fool and their money shall soon part. So what do you think? Do you think that LeVar Ball is doing the right thing here by pulling his son out of college basketball? Because the whole point is to get him to play and to get him in front of the NBA scouts eyes. Do you think that he will be drafted into the NBA? I don't. Um, like I said, from knowing about his game and knowing how much better his older brother Lonzo Ball, who is currently, like I said, playing for the L.A. Lakers, knowing how much better Lonzo is than him and knowing how much Lonzo was struggling right now, I don't think that he would be able to get into the league due to that comparison by itself. Do you think it's right for LeVar to pull LaMelo out of high school? Like totally out of like, he's not going to high school right now. And the plan was to homeschool him. So basically I'm not sure if he's being homeschooled right now. I don't think he is. I think the point is to try to get him an agent 
He's 16 years old, by the way. I think 16 or 17 years old. Get him an agent and then sign him overseas. Is he too young? Should he at least get a high school degree here in the States before he tries to get a GED or something like that to go play basketball and not even make it? Because at the end of the day, as I close, you can have hoop dreams, all this and that, and the third. The dreams can be deferred, but at least graduate high school because after you get out of the league, what are you going to do with no high school degree? What are you going to do? You're setting your son up for failure. Now, maybe you're banking on the whole big baller brand being a thing that he'd be able to partake in in some kind of way manage or profit from. But how long will the brand last? 80% of all new businesses fail. You may be doing well right now with your sales, but what about when the sales dip and your son has no high school degree and your other son has no college experience, gets sent off to China and gets locked up again for a small crime. And this time there will be no get out of jail free card. What are you going to do then? What's going to be your next course of action? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.